This is High School Social Determinant Photo Essay by Sarah Winters and Brianna Olson. Let's take a moment to reflect on when you were in high school. Little did each of us know that high school would be the stepping stone to our successful careers as nurses and future APRNs. As we all know firsthand, a high school's education gives people the tools they need to lead fulfilling lives, thrive personally, and to contribute to their communities. In addition, education makes it more likely for a person to access quality health care, find employment that pays a living wage, and to live in a safe, non-polluted environment. Historically, the U.S. has had low high school graduation rates compared with other countries. In 2020, the U.S. high school graduation rate is at 81%, below the world average of 85%. According to Healthy People 2030, students who drop out of high school may experience poor health and premature death. In addition, individuals who do not graduate high school are more likely to self-report overall poor health and suffer from at least chronic, one chronic health condition such as diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure. Ultimately, finishing more years of high school and earning a high school diploma decreases the risk of premature death. Research shows that students from low-income families often have less access to resources and live in communities with underperforming schools. Conversely, community programs that encourage high school completion can improve the graduation rates of high-risk students. In addition, increased educational attainment provides individuals with the opportunity to earn a higher income and gain access to better living conditions, healthier foods, and healthcare services. Overall, high school graduation has the potential to improve population health. Socioeconomic factors are some of the strongest predictors of whether a student might drop out of high school. These factors include family income, family structure, and family stress. Unfortunately, low-income students who drop out of high school have a high likelihood of continuing the poverty cycle, which affects their students' children's future. Disparities in high school completion rates exist among racial and ethnic groups in the U.S. For example, only 70% of American Indian or Alaska Native students graduate, while 87% of Caucasian students graduate. Although disparities among high school dropouts may be evident, the major disparity often forgotten is poor health access and poor health outcomes, as evidenced by the increasing rates of chronic disease in this population. High school dropouts are more likely to also experience violence and safety issues. APRNs can play a critical role in influencing school systems and communities to promote healthy living for school-aged children, regardless of income, race, and familial factors. APRNs can participate in forming school-based interventions by means of health clinics, mental health initiatives, substance abuse prevention, and violence prevention. Initiation of these efforts can be done at local, state, and federal levels with adequate support and evidence of need. One studied approach to improving access to care and hopefully in turn improving rates of graduation is the use of school-based health centers. These are health clinics that are located in or near schools that often pair with community health services to provide access to care for children and adolescents in low-income communities. These clinics could be run by APRNs to offer well-child visits, preventative screenings, behavioral health care, health education, and immunizations. These services are associated with improved school performance, increased high school completion, and a reduction in risky healthcare behaviors. CPSTF performed a systematic review that shows there is a 29.1% median decrease in high school dropout rates when school-based health centers are available to students in low-income communities. There's clear benefits to these programs, and APRNs can play a role in advocating for them in their communities. The mission of you, Mary, is to serve the religious, academic, and cultural needs of people of this region and beyond. APRNs receive education and training to advocate for every person, regardless of any disparities that may be present. Community, or let all things be common to all, means all students should be given the tools and resources to effectively complete their high school education. And lastly, hospitality, or let all be received as Christ, means addressing disparities in education and health without judgment or bias toward the individual. APRNs follow these missions and values every day in practice. Professional distinction means that UMary grads act as servant leaders to provide excellence in their profession and to their communities. By providing healthcare services, education, and improved access to care in the community, APRNs are effectively working as servant leaders by contributing these services. High school graduation rates in the U.S. are ranked as some of the lowest in the world. There continues to be disparities among graduation attainment, particularly racial and economic disparities. 
it has been found that a lack of high school diploma leads to poorer health outcomes, increased unemployment, increased poverty, and poorer living conditions, meaning the cycle of poverty and inequality continues through generations. APRNs can influence high school graduation completion by providing services and improving access to health care. This may be achieved with advocacy, influence toward legislation, and promotion of evidence-based programs to improve school-aged children's circumstances.